What's going on everyone? Hope you are having a great day. Happy 4th of July to all of you. I hope you have a fun, safe holiday throughout the day and the night. And I hope you get some fireworks around where you are, around me. They're not doing it this year, unfortunately, but uh, let's remember what this great holiday represents and a happy and safe 4th of July to all of you. So as many of you know, about four months ago, almost to the day, I bought a 2020 TRD Pro Tundra in Army Green, traded out of my Platinum. Now what I do normally is throughout the ownership process, I will keep an eye uh, on the value of the vehicle uh, through websites like Kelly Blue Book and things like that. Now one thing we all know if you've been buying cars for a while or if it's your first new car, you always hear that the minute you drive that new vehicle off the lot, a lot of times the value plummets. And that is why it's important to do two things. Number one, get a great deal. Get a great deal on a vehicle and that helps you get to that even slash green point where you're not upside down on the value of the vehicle. Uh, so that's a big thing right there. Get a good deal. And number two is get a vehicle that has great resale value. Now we know the Tundra is known for its resale value. A lot of Toyotas are. Other vehicles other than Toyota Jeep Wranglers are amazing with their resale value. Um, they just, you don't see a lot of deals on Jeep Wranglers a lot because they don't really need to put deals on them. Now in a COVID situation like we're in now, everything is a little bit different, but um, in normal circumstances, Forerunners, Wranglers, Tundras, Tacomas, all of those uh, do pretty well. And that's why the incentives are not as good as some other vehicles out there. But anyway, back to the point. Today was the first time I checked my value on my 2020 uh, Army Green. Like I said, I bought it almost four months ago to the day. So I knew it would be, uh, the value would be down on it quite a bit versus what I paid. Now I paid sticker for the vehicle. TRD Pros usually go for sticker. In some states, the TRD Pros are actually going for a five to $10,000 markup still. Still, even with everything going on and these dealers needing to make sales. But I paid sticker. Um, it was before the whole COVID situation. And the sticker was just about $56,000 for the vehicle. So like I said, today was the first time I went on Kelly Blue Book and I checked out how much is my TRD Pro worth today. So when I go there, I know many of you have been to this website as well. I never let the uh, Kelly Blue Book pick my options. I like to select everything. So, you know, I went ahead and I added things like the running boards that are on there, stupid little things here and there that may increase the value by like five bucks. But at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter. Um, the one thing that people always have a problem with is at the end of putting in your information at Kelly Blue Book is what condition your vehicle is in. Well, I can safely say that mine is in excellent condition, which is like 3% of all people uh, who put their stuff in or 3% of the vehicles that they're putting in are actually in excellent condition. Uh, excuse me, excellent condition, uh, but this one truly is. It has about 2,000 miles on it. It's in excellent condition. So let's check out the value of the Tundra. As you can see by looking at the Kelly Blue Book value estimator, I'm looking at between 40,000 and 43,000 uh, for my trade if I was to trade my Army Green TRD Pro today. Now that is about 12 to $15,000 upside down right now. And this doesn't include the sales tax that was on top of the truck when I paid as well. So we got a ways to go. We got a ways to climb up the ladder here uh, to get the truck back to where we need it to be. But right now it looks like we're 12 to $15,000 in the hole. Now one thing I'm gonna do uh, throughout the next year or so is keep you guys updated to see if that value starts to come up a little bit to meet where um, I owe on the vehicle and how long it takes to get there. Now, like I said, the Tundra is known for its great resale value, but also the truck has only been owned for four months. Um, you know, a lot of people who buy these trucks keep them for a very long time. So you will meet your in the green a lot sooner than you will in a lot of other vehicles. But one thing I wanted to show you before I let you go when it comes to value is about three months ago, I believe it was early April, I bought my wife a 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road premium. Um, it's pretty much a fully loaded truck in the middle of the trims um, and she loves it to death. We love it to death. It has about 1500 miles on it. But like I told you guys, I got an amazing deal on this truck. I paid, I believe it was $39,000 right around there. So when I was sitting there and I put in the Tundra's value, I figured I would go check out and see how much her vehicle is worth just three months later. And as you can see, the Forerunner trade and range right now is thirty-four nine to thirty-seven thousand, and I owe roughly about thirty-seven five or thirty-eight thousand. So I'm already right there, three months into owning that Forerunner. I'm right there, almost at the point where I'm not upside down anymore in the vehicle, just three months in. Now, like I said, TRD Pros are very hard to get a deal on nowadays. The best I've ever heard is every once in a while you'll hear somebody gets a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred dollars off TRD 
uh, all through the lineup, not just the Tundras, the Forerunners, the Sequoias, just the overall TRD Pro trim uh, is very hard to get a deal on. You're usually getting it for around MSRP, but my wife's is just a TRD Off-Road Premium Forerunner, and we got a great deal. It's honestly, it's a vehicle I wouldn't have bought unless we were in the COVID situation where, as I talked about last video, a lot of these dealers need to make sales and they needed to make a sale for me uh, with the Forerunner and I got it dirt cheap. And now a few months in, we're already at the point where if anything ever goes wrong, God forbid, uh, we could get out of it with no upside down. So the Tundra is twelve to $15,000 in the hole right now for the TRD Pro. And the Forerunner is just about even, I would say, two, three months away from being even or even in the green if we ever needed to trade out of it. Now, she plans to keep her Forerunner for a long time. A lot of you guys out there that are Tundra owners, keep your Tundras forever. And that is the point of the vehicle. Um, but just wanted to keep you guys updated on the value of your vehicle out there, or at least of my TRD Pro. What I want you guys to do in the comments below is go to a website like Kelly Blue Book, put in all your information, uh, let us know what you bought your vehicle for, and don't you don't have to include the sales tax and all that, just overall what the bottom line was and uh, how much your vehicle is worth today and how long you've owned it. I'd love to hear what everybody has to say out there. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy how much the value drops out on these vehicles. And thankfully, like I said, we're in something like a Toyota Tundra that has great resale value and does hold its value very well. Couldn't imagine getting in a vehicle that doesn't hold its value very well. You're you know, your overall value plummets when you drive off the lot and it never really recovers itself as quick as you would like it to. Uh, so for those automotive manufacturers out there that have bad resale value, those are the type of vehicles you really want to lease. So then you have an option to get out, you know, three years, four years later um, and just walk away from it if you have to. So I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Momentarily, you will see a few boxes pop up around me. Uh, today, I'm going to focus on two different playlists I want you guys to check out, especially if you're new to the channel. Well, first off, the logo is there. Click that to subscribe and check out all the videos. But the other two videos I want you to check out, there are two playlists. Number one is the 2020 TRD Pro that I have sitting outside. It's all the videos I've made on that so far. And the other one is of the Platinum Pro, you will see. Uh, that is the truck I had before this, which was a supercharged Platinum that we built into a Pro. Um, it was a lot of fun. So if you're new to the channel, that's definitely something you want to check out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at tundradude34, tundradude34gmail.com. I definitely look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about the value of your vehicle. But in closing, it looks like the 4Runner is in great shape right now in the driveway. But the Tundra, we got a ways to go to get that value up. And once again, I will keep you updated and let you know how the value starts to come up on that truck and how long it takes me to get as close to an equity value as possible. But until then, have a great 4th of July. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to you soon.